Hello YouTubers, this is Falcon CX. This is my first video on YouTube and today I'm gonna talk about uh, Ubuntu. If you haven't heard of it, it's a Linux based system. It's in my opinion in ways better than Windows XP because it's a system that's more stable and it also is free. Who doesn't want something that's free? Um, all the applications you want you can just get them for free if you use Linux um, with Windows XP for most of the software you have to pay for it so Linux is a way to be free in a way and it looks pretty awesome so if you want to try out Ubuntu but you don't want to get rid of your Windows system because there are some applications that you can't find in Ubuntu for example if you're into burning uh, copy protected DVDs there's in my opinion no better software than any DVD and clone CD put together for that purpose so in that case you might want to keep Windows XP and do a dual boot and have a uh, Ubuntu install on your system what a dual boot does is when you turn your computer on it'll either let you go into Windows or onto Ubuntu you can do this with Windows XP Vista Windows 98 so you can still keep your Windows XP and have Ubuntu for your other needs so I'm gonna be showing you how to install Ubuntu without getting rid of Windows XP and the best way to do it is using this software called Whoopi because that way you won't mess at all with your Windows XP system so the first thing you want to do is open up your your web browser and go onto Whoopi dash installer.org and that's gonna take you to this site um, you wanna click on download now will be 8.10 I already have it here so I won't download it maybe I should just to show you it's a pretty small file it's only like um, one megabyte Okay, so you want to open the Wubi installer. Double click on it. Click on run. And you want to select the drive where you're going to install it on. So select the drive where Windows XP is already installed. In my case, it's D. Most people have it on drive C just to make sure where Windows is go to my computer click on your C drive mine is on D but click on it and you will see a folders a folder with Windows on it so that means that Windows is installed in that drive so that's where you want to install Ubuntu so you can select your language installation size with 15 gigabytes it's pretty much enough but if you're if you know you're gonna have some extra files in your Ubuntu uh, partition then you might as well increase the size if you have the space if you wanna know how much space you have in your drive you can go to my computer um, and on your drive right click and select properties that will show you how much space you have on your drive see on mine I have 56 gigabytes of free space so if I do 30 that's good enough you also have the option of uh, selecting your environment for the Linux um, 
the Linux operating system. I would suggest that you go with Ubuntu because it's pretty much the one that looks nicer. So it's up to you. You wanna your username is already set up for you, but if you wanna change it to something else, you can do that. I'm gonna do Falcon CX and then you do a password twice whatever you want it to be that's up to you and then you hit install and that's all you're set this will install Ubuntu in a matter of uh, about an hour depending on what your system um, hardware so that's that soon I'll be posting more videos about how to how to get the uh, all the nice eye all the nice eye candy for for Ubuntu. See you then.